What is up, you guys? For those that are new here, my name is Tanya and I create lifestyle content. Uh, quick background, I am a new mom. My son is now seven months old and I figured now that I'm starting to feel a little more like myself, it'd be a good time to give you guys a postpartum vlog. So what to expect from postpartum, from bleeding, sex, everything. You name it, I'm going to try to cover everything and also show you guys all of the things that helped me get through my postpartum recovery. So if you guys are interested to see, keep on watching. Let's just get right into the video after delivery. I know that a lot of you mamas are pressed for time right now. You're scrambling to figure out what you need to bring with you in your hospital bag. Um, if you guys are interested to see what I packed in my hospital bag, check that out. I have a what's in my hospital bag video up on my channel. Quick background on the type of birth that I had. I had a vaginal birth. So I understand that the pain level with that is different for everyone, um, but the aftercare is, I want to say, standard across the board for vaginal births. Um, and when you're in the hospital, you know, if you get an epidural, you're not going to be able to stand up right away. The nurses are actually going to wait until it wears off and they're going to help you to the bathroom and they'll do everything for you. So just pay attention to what they do so you can keep in mind um, on how to care for yourself when the nurses are not around or when you get home. So my hospital provided me with these mesh underwear pads these super humongous pads I actually use them all so I don't have any to show you guys just think of a regular overnight pad times three they gave me dermaplast they gave me these um, tux medicated hemorrhoid cooling pads a few ice packs and do you guys know what doggy wee wee pads are they had those on deck also gave me one of those squirt bottles I don't have one I think I threw it out and yeah that's what my hospital gave me I'm located in the United States other countries are different so I can't speak to other countries and what they provide you I'm sure hospitals in the US are different as well on um, brands and um, just supplies that they give you but this is what my hospital provided me so what you're gonna want to do is if you have the choice it's completely up to you to use the hospital stuff or if you want to go out and buy your own stuff because I was recovering, the last thing I was thinking about is the stuff that I brought in my suitcase, to be honest with you. I just wanted to get my whole kitty cat situated <laughs> and figure out what to do going forward because it is literally a shock. You, it's unexpected what goes on down there. I have these, they're gonna, my nurses used a wee wee pad. They put two pads stacked, one in the back, one in the front, and then they used the tux medicated pads on top and you fill up your squirt bottle with warm water. I, I used cool water because it just felt better. Um, and you just squirt, you're not gonna wipe. There's absolutely no wiping involved in this whole process of healing. And after you squirt, you're just gonna pat dry and you're gonna slip your whole package on that's gonna have this, your wee wee pad, your pads, your tuck pads, and before you seal the deal and slide these all the way up, you're going to take your Dermaplast and you are going to spray your kitty cat to death because that Dermaplast is going to cool you. But I was in the hospital for longer than expected only because my son had jaundice. So I was there an additional two days. But from the beginning, because I delivered at 3 o'clock in the morning, I was there for two nights. And while I was there for the two nights, I used only the hospital stuff. I would call the nurses and have them like come in and help me, help them change me, help me like get out of bed because you are going to be very sore. My advice to you, if you are not against taking medicine or pills or things like that, take advantage of the Tylenol they give you or whatever they give you. Take advantage of the stool softeners. Just do it. These people are have been doing this for years they 
know what's best um, and remember this is your first time it's it's not their first rodeo so let them take control let them take care of you you need to rest so like I said I used all the hospital supplies first and then I also asked them for additional pads towards the end so I can take some home with me I didn't have any big pads like that at home so I just wanted to make sure that I had enough just in case uh, my son was born in the dead of winter there was snow and there was no way that I was gonna go out and purchase the, purchase these things especially because if the hospital was giving it to me I was gonna grab it and take it home so aside from this whole get up I also purchased these always discreet underwears I didn't use these in the beginning I just went with what the nurses put on me I just wanted to see how it was gonna work out and you know what it wasn't bad if you want to go out and buy these by all means go ahead is it more comfortable yes it is is it necessary no I, I think it just depends on your budget and your comfort level and just like it just depends on the person I began to use these when I got home and for reference, I am 5'3", and at the time, I was probably 160 to 70 pounds, and I bought these in a size small to medium. They fit me fine. It was a little snug on the thigh part, and I could have sized up, but the other than that, these were perfectly fine. The squirt bottle kind of looks like a ketchup bottle. It's a clear bottle with a nozzle on the top, and if you press it, it just squirts up. I saw that a lot of mamas recommended the Freedom Mom bottle and let me tell you this thing is a game changer because I was still like out of it from the hospital and so tired those first two days I just used what the hospital gave me but as soon as your girl got home okay I did pack this as soon as your girl got home I did use this the beauty of this is the shape. You fill up the bottle, you turn it upside down, and then you squeeze. So because of this shape, it actually like has a better um, angle. So you wash, I feel like it washes you and rinses you better than the hospital one. And this is more like neater and cleaner in terms of like the water that it dispenses. Also, the bottle from the hospital it's like one heavy stream of water whereas this if you look at the nozzle it's like a sprinkler so yeah overall it's nice if you can afford to get this it is a luxury get it if you don't need if you don't think you need this and you're fine with the hospital thing just use what the hospital gave you it's really not a big deal this is literally just like a preference also, um, if the hospital is going to give you a tub of the cooling pads, the uh, hemorrhoid cooling pads, I doubt you'll, you're going to go through the whole tub um, during your stay. So make sure you grab that and take it home with you so you don't have to purchase um, this on your own. This, I believe, is like $6 at Walmart. I bought these for the purpose of this video. Just let's talk about your blood flow so just think of not having your period for nine months and then all of a sudden you give birth and you're bleeding everybody everyone is different everybody is different for me personally I had a heavy flow and I bled for I want to say close to six weeks everything down there was still swollen it was still sore I didn't even want to look down there I made sure that I followed the hospital's instructions with aftercare and everyone is different just keep that in mind there's some women who bleed for two weeks there's some women who bleed for three weeks and also just be mindful of your flow obviously big blood clots are dangerous and they're gonna tell you that when you um, leave the hospital um, but just, you know, it's very easy for you to, like, lose track of yourself because you're worrying about another human being. Next in the postpartum care, you are going to be sore, okay? You're going to be sore. I did not take out the prescription for the codeine or whatever they gave me. Instead, I just took the Tylenol whenever I felt uncomfortable. 
are you going to be sore? Everyone's pain level is different, so if you need to take out that prescription for that pain meds, I say do it. For me, I was able to survive off of this. But I wanted to show you guys the three-piece belly band that I bought off of Amazon. A lot of other people talk about it in their vlogs, and they are not wrong. This is how I put it on. It's probably wrong, but it was the easiest way for me to put it on um, instead of like doing it from the back. So... You have this one piece here, and this goes across like just your midsection. I had it fairly tight. And then you have a pelvic, it's pelvis belt. So I put that around here just about because I wanted to like start pushing on my lower part of the belly and then you have the final band that is called the waist belt and I, if I'm if I'm doing this wrong guys just let me know but I just wanted to show you guys the, the waist belly thing that I got for postpartum and I wore it in the beginning over my clothes just in case I got like a little bit of a reaction and then I eventually started to wear it under my clothes and it took me I want to say I'm only seven months postpartum now and you know be 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 easy on yourself I'm still not 100% I don't think you ever go back to feeling the same um, but you know, don't hop on the scale every day. Do little things every day to get you motivated, to get you moving. I started to walk uh, after like six weeks. Um, I didn't run. I started doing light weights. And then I started the gym hardcore when I was like three, four months, three, four months postpartum. I am now seven and I've seen such a difference in my body. You know, everyone's different. Everyone goes through their own things. Everyone's time frame is different. This is what is helping me mentally and physically try to be a better version of myself. So this was the belly band and it just helped seal everything and keep it together. Um, in terms of other clothes that I wore postpartum, I continue to wear my stretchy... Um, maternity yoga pants and then I also purchased a pair of Amazon that were what are they called like tight around the waist for postpartum I always wore my nursing bras I found that I wasted money getting this style because it doesn't you don't have the capability to hold the pump in it yes these are super comfortable and I wore these for probably three months straight especially at nighttime it was just so easy to nurse and do all that but then I finally got to purchasing these nursing um, and pumping bras which are godsend from Amazon it's a little raggedy because I have used this a lot and washed it a lot I have it in black and I have it in beige I suggest getting two or three so that you can rotate it out the clips come down in the front and then the front part also has a little pocket so that you can put the breast pump in and it holds it up so you can be hands-free pumping since we're on the nursing topic and breastfeeding topic I also want to recommend these Medela tender tender care hydrogel pads these were amazing for the first few days in the hospital I was super engorged and my nipples were so sore it was the first time you know obviously doing this so I was in pain to say the least I decided to my lactation consultant had a pair on her she gave them to me and I think they're good for a few uses as soon as I got home I ordered this and they are it's supposed to, it provides instant relief for sore nipples cools on contact contoured for fit and they're reusable also recommend reusable breast pads I use these for the first three months I was always leaking now I don't leak as much I am still breastfeeding my supply has dipped a little bit and I think it's just because I got my period uh, three months postpartum and also because I'm working out I don't know but at this point it is what it is 
Uh, my son is also formula fed, so we're doing half and half, and I'm happy with that. I think I, I think seven months is a great time. Uh, it's a very long time. I'm proud of myself, and you should be too. If you don't breastfeed or you do breastfeed, whatever, mama, as long as your baby is fed. Back to nursing pads. So I like the disposable ones. I, To be honest with you, I didn't use these much because I didn't leak that much and I would just I have a bunch of these reusable ones and just rotated these within my wash I felt like it's better on the environment too because they're reusable less wasting so I got the La Vie massager and I would just put it in my nursing bras to help with like circulation and things like that I also got these Lanisol Lacino Lasino, whatever, however you pronounce the brand, um, gel pads. You can heat them up in the microwave or you can freeze them. Towards my breast, in the, the peak of my breastfeeding journey, I would warm these up, put them in my nursing bra, and then throw this vibrator in there. And it was just so relieving. I felt like I got the most milk flow by doing this. A handheld manual pump was a lifesaver, especially for those nights where I was too exhausted. I live in a two-level house. I was too exhausted to go downstairs and pump, so I would just like do this in bed and call it a day. Um, also, this Earth Mama organic nipple butter was life-saving in the beginning when my nipples were so raw. And then depending on what pump you have, I went with my free pump from insurance, which was the Spectra S2, which I absolutely love. And because I thought I'd be going back to work, um, I purchased this car, um, this car charger, like a, so you can pump in the car. And I got this off of Amazon. Just look up on Amazon like the type of breast pump you have and just like car charger or whatever and it'll come right up. I think this was like less than $20. Also, just to keep everything organized for you guys, if you have multiple bathrooms, I suggest getting just like a little bin like this and filling in with all your necessities. Pads, uh, wipes, your tux pads whatever you need to make your life easier put it in this and place it on in every bathroom it's super helpful in just keeping everything together and it's time saving and you just want to have everything in one place especially when you are sleep deprived and i wanted to mention a few other things that you would also need for postpartum chapstick your lips are gonna be super chapped just keep chapstick with you in pretty much like every room of the house and another thing is that you are gonna be very thirsty especially if you're breastfeeding and honestly just drinking a lot of water after what you just went through is really crucial so regardless you should be drinking a lot of water daily anyway um, but I would say grab you a cup similar to this or anything that holds a large amount of water so that you don't have to keep refilling it especially if you're like trying to heal you don't want to keep getting up and stuff like that so this came in handy I keep this right by my bedside and I probably go through still to this day six of these a day or seven I think I covered everything in terms of postpartum care uh, the essentials for breastfeeding and let's talk about everyone's favorite topic probably or what you guys are so curious about sex after having a vaginal birth <laughs> to be honest with you you and your partner are gonna be so tired in the beginning I I'm sure sex is gonna come to mind but you have to be you have to, you have to communicate with each other um, and just you know let the other one know that your body is not ready to have sexual intercourse for the first six weeks that's what's recommended by the doctor get on the same page with that you don't want to disappoint anyone second get you some lubrication you don't know how your body is going to react to the first time having sex after having a baby so you just want to make sure that you have lubrication just in case 
also in terms of like the way it feels and pain level I think for everyone is different you get cleared by your doctor um, and if you have any other questions about anything related to medication or you know when you can have sex or when you can resume um, going to the gym talk to your doctor I know standard it's like six weeks depending on the type of birth that you had I'm gonna end the vlog here you guys thank you for staying until the end please don't forget to give this video a like leave a comment down below if you have any questions I will be linking most of the things that you saw here and please subscribe thank you guys for staying until the end and I will see you guys in my next vlog bye guys